We want to talk about a family that's uh, friends of ours that we know and that we like and that we feel really bad because their son just died. Uh, If you don't know about this, you can catch up on Instagram, the Jackson Family Values. Long story short, um, young their young son Judah a year and a half ago was running ahead of the mom and kind of got into some water and he got deep really fast and he couldn't swim. He was under the water for quite a while, but they were able to to revive him in a way. But he lost most of his mental capabilities and he was disabled. And the past year and a half has been therapy trying to like help him and he's been making some strides. Can I see you kick your feet? Yeah. You're getting so tall. You're going to be taller than me before you know it. I love you. Can I have a hug then? Oh, Ju. Thank you, Juju. Judah, that's so sweet. I photographed them before. We'll put the photos on the screen. Um, they you know, came to our house. We photographed the family and we've stayed in touch. But it was very sad to know that a few days ago that this boy, Judah, died. It's just an awful thing. And I can't even imagine the pain that that family is dealing with. But it's something that we've been thinking about, you know, this week. So we thought we'd talk a little bit about it and also mention that the Jackson family has a GoFundMe. If you guys wanted to go check out the story and see the GoFundMe or read about it, uh, they could probably use whatever help you guys wanted to, um, you know, participate with. Yeah, um, it's a very difficult situation, you know. Um, just thinking about a family feeling incomplete now, you know, even, even actually I shouldn't say now, I guess for a while, but now really reeling at this point because of the ending conclusion to this story, um, you know, even from when the accident happened, you know, a year and a half ago, like I can't imagine how they just didn't feel complete because their son is now no longer the kid that they they knew him to be. And, and you know, they're trying to get through and, and I guess process who he may have been going forward, who what his life would be going forward and just trying to process that. And just when you think you're you're getting to a point of okay, this is going to be the routine. This is what's going to happen. To have tragedy piled on top of that, just really, I, you know, you don't know what to say in those moments. You don't know what to do. You don't know. All you know is you can just extend and say, "I'm here." So it's really about just being there, letting them know that hey, if you need something, please don't hesitate to tell to reach out, even if you not going to reach out. I'm going to reach out and give you, do things that I can for you anyway, mm-hmm. just because I know it may be difficult for you and things like that. So that's really all you can do in that situation for, for now. Because again, like, what do you say? What, yeah. what is, what are the words? Well, there's nothing you know? to say. I think it's even disrespectful to assume you can say something, to put yourself in the body or position of someone who's going through that type of pain and to think you know what that's like. It's very insulting. And I even said that on one of their posts. I was just like, the best thing people can do is just you know, love you and not try to give you advice or like, you know, tell you they feel your pain because there's no way that... Uh, unless they've literally I can, I can been only, in that I can situation. only imagine. So this week I told Ami, I said, listen, I know you're not the aggressive type, but you should really be aggressive with her because if she tells you, Verlanda, the mother of Judah, of the Jackson family, if she tells you that she doesn't need you, then then that's what she's telling you, but she does need you. She does need, you cannot get through something like this by yourself. If you can, it's going to be very painful. What people need is love and support. Even if you're just standing on the side and you're not doing anything, but the fact that you have people there to help you and support you and hold your hand is what somebody needs. So um, Ami did a good thing by, by reaching out. You know, what can we do to help you through this very difficult time if we can do anything? Like life changed in one instant. One instant. We wanted to bring up the story because they're somebody that, you know, could could use help. Not not even just needs help, like, you know, just sending love in comments because also I think most of you know the power of social media. It can be good, it can be bad, but when you're going through something and even if you just post about it one time and, you know, you're not you know, constantly on social media, but when you open your page and you look and what you see is outpouring of love and support, that is energy coming towards you. So that 
is, I think, important as well on her updates or whatever it is she's posting. Because like I said, it's at least we can use the social media for good yep. in these type of moments. You know, if something was going on with us or, you know, not compared, but saying when I broke my wrist, like being able to read comments of well wishing and things like that does mm-hmm. make you feel a little bit like, oh, OK, you yep. know, I can I can maybe get through this. So I'm yep. just saying, like, send send that in their direction as well as anything else. It just sucks to see bad things happen to good people, you know. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't feel good to see bad things happen to bad people, but to see, to know good people like a good family and to see them go through something like that is is really difficult. It lets you know that life is cruel and life is not fair. Fragile. Yeah. Fragile and, um, yeah, you cannot predict anything, which is why you need to really do your best every day. That's all you can do is do your best every day. Even if it wasn't the greatest day, it is what it is. Move on to the next day. That's, that's really move on to the next day. And that's how I try to be for the most part. Uh, you know, I don't know if I succeed every day, but I really try to be that for the most part is move on every day because I don't want to hold my anger. I don't want to hold my anything. It's just, I mean, life seems like if it lives to 85, it's a long life. Life's short, man. I'm sure. I, I think about that. Our, you know, my youngest son is three and I'm, you know, older. But in the blip of time, that's nothing. Like if you were to look at a thousand years, we're the same age. Like we're the same age. But yet we're living here now thinking like I'm such a, you know, older, superior person because I've been around and he's just a little infant and so vestal. But like, no, if you look at the blip of time, like we're the same age. So hold your family, the people you love close. Don't make mistakes. Please uh, be careful. And with that, we want to talk about a few people that we've tried to help. Um, we haven't picked the names yet, but we wanted to talk about in this video. If you watch the YouTube video that we did, and we can link it if you're watching on YouTube or if you're listening, maybe go check it out. The video is called, um, How Well Do You Know Us? Mm-hmm. How Well Do You Know Us? And I think it's from like late... October. I'm saying this because if you're listening to it, you have a couple more days before we pick the winner. We're going to pick the winner very soon and we're going to announce it on this podcast. So it's three $600 gift cards. So 600, 600, 600, three times. We're going to announce for the holiday season. Yeah, we're going to announce the winners here. And to find out how you can win, you have to watch the video, How Well Do You Know Us? You have to answer questions about the family, which I think is also fun. We made it like a game show. So to win the money, it's like, well, you know, we can make people watch the video and like answer the questions, which might be fun for people too. But we're going to announce the winners here on We Love Our Kids. But so um, probably next week, probably in a week and a half or so. So anyhow, go watch the video so you can you know have a chance to win. So but with that, anything else you want to say? Close us out. Thank you guys for the support. We appreciate you guys. Even those who don't support us, we appreciate you watching anyway, because <laughs> that's still support. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, enjoy your week. Enjoy your holidays. Be safe. Take care of each other. Spread love, not hate. I'm so sick of that. I'm so sick of the haters. Just be kind. That's it. Just be there kind. You go. All right. We'll see you next time.